Peggy Shannon, a famous actress, made a big impact in the film world with her great acting. While many remember her for her important roles in different movies, some might not know much about her life in Hollywood. As we learn more, we discover interesting stories that tell us about her life and career. One particular work is really important, showing how great she was in the industry. But there are also many stories behind the scenes, some funny, some surprising, and some sad moments that affected her life. What's your favorite memory or personal experience related to this amazing actor? Share your stories and memories below. Keep watching this video for more funny, surprising, and sad facts about Peggy Shannon. Peggy Shannon, an actress from the early 20th century, acted in some great movies. One of her best-known roles was in The Front Page, a 1931 film directed by Lewis Milestone. In it, she played Molly Malloy, a crucial character. People love this movie for its clever dialogue and great acting. Another movie worth watching is Back Page, which came out in 1934. Peggy Shannon played a journalist named Patricia Morgan, showing how talented she was in different roles. If you're new to Peggy Shannon's work, start with City Streets. It was released in 1931 and directed by Robin Mamoulian. Even though she's in a supporting role, the movie is captivating with its dark storytelling and strong performances. Also, don't miss The Secret Call from 1931. Peggy Shannon plays a nurse in a tense situation. Directed by Stuart Walker, this thriller will keep you on the edge of your seat. In short, Peggy Shannon acted in many great movies like The Front Page, Back Page, City Streets, and The Secret Call. They're all worth watching for both fans and newcomers alike. Actress Peggy Shannon began her career in 1926 as a stage actress in New York. She caught the attention of Paramount's Bud Schulberg in 1931, who signed her to replace Clara Bow in the movie Secret Call after Bow's nervous breakdown. Despite her promising start, tragedy struck on May 11, 1941. Shannon was found deceased at her kitchen table with her head resting on her arms, a cigarette in her mouth, and an empty glass in her hand. Her second husband, Albert G. Roberts, discovered her lifeless body. Stricken with grief, Roberts took his own life just 19 days later in the same spot where Shannon passed away. The circumstances surrounding their deaths remain a somber mystery. Born in 1910, according to studio claims, actress Peggy Shannon's actual birth year was confirmed as 1907 by the 1920 census report. Hailing from Pine Bluff, Jefferson County, Arkansas, her parents were Edward Ham Salmon and Nanny M. Martin, as recorded in both the 1910 and 1920 censuses. However, despite the promising start to her career, Shannon faced challenges from 1937 onward due to alcoholism. This struggle affected her professional trajectory, marking a downturn in her once promising journey in the entertainment industry. Her early years were anchored in the discrepancy between publicized and actual birth years. Shannon's career, once on an upward trajectory, took a turn for the worse, grappling with the complexities of alcoholism. These challenges cast a shadow over her potential, leading to a less celebrated phase in her acting career. The 1920 census sheds light on her roots, providing a glimpse into her family background. Her parents, Edward Ham Salmon and Nanny M. Martin, were fixtures in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, shaping the early years of the actress. In conclusion, Peggy Shannon, born in 1910 as per studio claims, but actually in 1907, faced a challenging later career marred by alcoholism. Her roots in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, as revealed by census records, provide a backdrop to the complexities she navigated in her personal and professional life. Comparing Peggy Shannon to her contemporaries of the same era reveals her unique qualities as an actress. She faced tough competition from peers such as Clara Bow and Joan Crawford. However, she stood out due to her screen presence and ability to play different roles. In comparison to Clara Bow, known as the it girl of the silent film era, Shannon had a different charm and depth in her performances. While Bow was known for her carefree persona, Shannon brought vulnerability to her roles, often portraying characters with depth of emotion. Similarly, when compared to Joan Crawford, known for her portrayals of strong women, Shannon carved her own path by playing characters with a mix of strength and fragility. She could convey various emotions subtly, setting her apart from others. Despite facing stiff competition, Shannon's unique qualities as an actress were evident in her ability to portray diverse characters authentically. Her impact on the film industry during her time left a lasting impression, establishing her as a respected actress in Hollywood history. 
Peggy Shannon, a well-known actress, gained fame for her roles in various entertainment mediums. In 1934, she starred in the Broadway play Page Miss Glory, alongside the then-unknown Jimmy Stewart. The production premiered on November 27th of that year. She played the girlfriend character, demonstrating her acting skills and contributing to the play's success. Before her time on Broadway, Shannon worked as a Ziegfeld girl in the 20s. This experience added to her diverse background in the entertainment industry, showing her versatility as a performer. Throughout her career, Shannon impressed audiences and colleagues with her talent and dedication. Her role in Paige Miss Glory and her tenure as a Ziegfeld girl are significant parts of her career, displaying her ability to engage audiences across different platforms. Peggy Shannon, a lesser-known actress from Hollywood's golden age, had a tragic and shocking end to her life. Despite her brief and tumultuous career, she left a lasting impression on those who knew her. Shannon's life took a turn for the worse when she battled alcoholism, which ultimately led to her untimely death at the age of 34. Her passing shocked many in the industry, highlighting the dark side of fame and the struggles faced by those in the spotlight. Shannon's story serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of addiction and the pressures of stardom. Despite her talent and potential, she became another casualty of the harsh realities of show business. Her tragic demise remains a poignant reminder of the fragility of life, even for those who seem to have it all. Peggy Shannon, a talented actress from early Hollywood, tragically passed away at a young age due to alcohol-related issues. Despite her promising career, her life ended in a sad and shocking manner. She struggled with alcoholism, which ultimately led to her untimely demise. Her death served as a stark reminder of the darker side of fame and the challenges many actors faced behind the glamour of the silver screen. Before her unfortunate end, she made a name for herself in Hollywood with her acting skills. She appeared in several films, showing her talent and versatility. However, her personal struggles overshadowed her professional achievements, leaving behind a story touched by tragedy. Despite the sadness surrounding her life and death, her work in the film industry is remembered by those who appreciate classic cinema. Her story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of fame and the importance of addressing mental health issues. In the end, she remains a poignant figure in Hollywood history, reminding us of the human frailties beneath the glitz and glamour of the silver screen. A famous actress from her time, she was known for her amazing talent and engaging performances. Sadly, she died young at 34 because she had a hard time with alcohol. Even though she had a bright career ahead, she struggled with personal issues like addiction. Yet, despite her problems, people still loved watching her act. Her story reminds us that being famous can be tough and life is fragile. It's important to appreciate every moment we have.